we got here is the Solar Age X Mini 100 amp hour battery. Let's open it up and check it out. All right, so we got our uh, product up brochure manual here. We'll look at that in a minute. Wow, I've never seen something packed completely solid like that. Nice thick foam. So com the battery is completely encased top to bottom in perfectly form-fitting foam. That's probably the best packaging I've ever seen. Especially considering this is a extremely inexpensive battery. So right off the bat, the, the terminal lugs come in pre-installed with some protective caps here. Get those off of there. And these are your standard M8 bolts. Let's check out the length on these. Uh, pretty much the uh, the standard length M8 bolts, uh, brass with this uh, enameled uh, seating here. It says Solar Age X LiPo 4 Lithium Iron Phosphate 12.8 volt 100 amp hour Mini. The size though looks to me very similar to a Group 24 size. And there's a sticker on the top here, and that's pretty much it. We have our manual here. We'll take a look at that. Big bold print. If you can't see too well, you can definitely see this sucker. Uh, working voltage, the dimensions here. It, 10.23 inches by 5.23 inches by 8.95 inches. Uh, let's see, working voltage 12.8 volts, 14.6 plus or minus 0.2. I don't know if I would trust that. Usually it's 14.4 plus minus 2. 14.6 is generally the max. Uh, so I wouldn't. 14.6 is what I would do. 14.4 or 14.6. 1,280 watt hours. Maximum continuous charging current 50 amps. And uh, discharge 100 amps. And the overcharge release voltage uh, 3.45 volts plus or minus 0.05 volts. That's good for all these things. Connection tips, how to wire in series, how to wire in parallel. The same thing with multiple batteries. Again, the, the charging, 14.6 volts. Over just disconnect voltage at 15 volts. Over voltage reconnect at 14.2. Equalizer charging voltage, 14 volts. Float charging, 13.8 volts. Boost charging is 13.8. Boost... Reconnect charging discharge 13.2. Well, do this, you know, you can look those over. So, as far as the protections goes, it has a low voltage protection and over discharge protection. There's not talking about any other sort of protections here. So, that's another thing you might want to be aware of. On their website, it says something about uh, overheating protection. Uh, but I don't see that anything about that here in the manual or any sort of parameters of the temperatures or anything like that. There's no low temperature protection. And uh, again, which is kind of normal in a battery of this price range. But uh, I would like to see a little bit more information here. Like is there short circuit protection? That sort of thing. It doesn't really talk about any of that sort of stuff. So... I don't know, and that's not something I'm going to want to test. And that's pretty, a pretty basic manual that it comes with. But for the most part, that's all you need to know. So let's go ahead and uh, 
set this up for a uh, to charge it up and then we'll do a, a capacity test and then we'll talk about some of the pros and cons of this battery and then we'll do a comparison to a group 24 battery so you can get a feeling for the size compared to a group 34 and then uh, we'll go from there okay so here's our solar age x uh, 100 amp hour mini and this is our watt cycle 100 amp hour group 24 so we're going to just compare the measurements here so the 10 and an 8 that looks like on the width of that versus approximately 10 and a quarter the height on this is 9 and 7 eighths approximately approximately 10 inches to the top of the the lugs and this is 9 and an 9 inches to the top of the lugs and then the width I don't know if you can see that here this is actually wider so this is six and three eighths and this is a hair over seven inches so this is actually wider than a group 24 so I think calling this a mini is a little bit of a stretch when it's actually bigger than a group 24 but you know we'll talk about why it doesn't really matter in the long run. Uh, this is a discount battery that at the current time is only 169 bucks. So you, the price can't be beat on that. And uh, again, we'll talk about some of the pros and cons at the end here. One other thing that I noticed that was unusual is the adjacent uh, terminals uh, on, the, on the top rather than on the, like, like most batteries are like this. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Uh, layout so take that for what it's worth and let's go ahead and get a weight on this while we're here and we're looking at uh, 23 pounds one ounce and 368 ounces 10.5 kilograms approximately all right let's go ahead and get this set up and we'll be right back all right let's go ahead and get this capacity test started here get this off the charger and as usual we're gonna take and uh, hook this up transfer the power from this uh, solar age X battery into my big mango power e power station over here which charges at about 500 watts and we'll check the capacity of this battery all right so what I've done here is set the meter to 103 amp hours that way we can see if we can go over the 100 amp hours that this battery is rated for there we go let's pull up the app here gonna find my peace of mind found a little piece of heaven where the desert meets the sky in my tiny home when the stars come alive Ooh yeah No more hustle and bustle No more city strife Living on grid under the Arizona sun Sun of panel shining bright We're living off of the In my tiny home Where freedom can be Alright, if you remember right We set the capacity meter To test to see if we can get 103 amp hours out of this Not 100 amp hours So the results that come back Definitely puts it over the 100 amp hour And what we ended up getting out of this was 102.53 amp hours so it passed the test significantly which i'm pretty impressed with considering the uh, price point on this battery all right my final thoughts on this battery 
is this. It's one of the cheapest batteries you can currently get, especially for the smaller. It's still bigger than a Group 24, but still smaller than a Group 31. Most of the ones that you see in this $169 price range are a Group 31 size, which is just a little bit big. So the cons are, and I'm not going to tear this apart because I've already seen several other reviewers have done that. So I can tell you what the cons are on what's inside here. The uh, positive cable is a seven gauge wire. That's a little bit underrated for a 100 amp hour battery with a 100 amp BMS. The other part is, is it has a really generic looking uh, DALI type BMS, uh, which is again what you'd kind of expect for a discount battery, $169. If you want, and those other things mean a lot to you, then I would recommend getting a different brand possibly. But for this price, I think this is a pretty darn good deal, especially if you wanted to stack multiple batteries. The other one is the 50 amp charge uh, is a little bit low. I'd rather see a 100 amp uh, capability to charge this. So if you're using this as a single battery in some application, you need to be conscious of that. If you're running them together, then not necessarily so much if you're in, in parallel, because when you're in parallel, you're going to double the amperage. So if you had two of these, then it could handle a 100 amp charge. And because it has a 100, uh, 100 amp discharge rate already, you could handle a 200 amp discharge. So if you were building a system with quite a few batteries put together, the, the load on each thing is going to be reduced. So this seven gauge cable is not going to make much difference and neither is the 50 amp charge capability. So if you wanted a single battery for a certain application, whether it was a trolling motor or a, a, a DIY power station or something like that, uh, you have to decide whether you want to save the 30 or $40 to get this one or pay the extra 30 to $40 to get some additional features. For the price, I don't know that you could beat it. If you want to check out some of my other battery review videos to do comparisons between this one and some others, I'm going to go ahead and drop a link right here. And you can check that out to a playlist of my battery reviews. And if you're an absolute beginner, you can check out this video here. And um, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.